What is going on guys? My name is Rob. Welcome back to the channel. In this one I'm going to be going over all the upcoming Bitcoin forks in January 2018. If you're new to the channel and you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. But anyways, let's get into it. I just finished updating my spreadsheet here with all the information I could find on the upcoming hard forks in January 2018. And actually these hard forks start New Year's Eve of 2017. So the first one we have here is Bitcoin Uranium. Now there's not a lot of hope out for this Bitcoin Uranium fork. Here is Bitcoin Uranium's Bitcoin Talk thread. When you scroll down to the bottom it says coming December 31st 2017. But there's no exchanges listed, no wallets listed, no pools listed, no media listed. And when you come up and look at their GitHub, you can see this thread was made on October 25th, 2017. And just taking a look at their GitHub, that was also the last time they had any commits in the GitHub. So this is looking like a dead project to me. And on top of that, you go to either of their websites and you get redirected to this Sonom and the other one exact same thing you get redirected to Sonom MVP testnet is now live so this Bitcoin uranium project looks dead to me but if you do know some more on Bitcoin uranium make sure to leave a comment below update everyone and let them know but as far as I can tell, this is a dead project. So the next one up on the list, which is happening at block 501,949, is Bitcoin Ore. Let's go ahead and take a look at their website. Bitcoin Ore is a POC. So they're switching the POC, which is proof of capacity, which is the same as burst coin, which means you use hard drive space. To mine instead of computing power from GPUs or ASICs or even CPUs. So their fork is happening, like I said, at block 501,949. Then in a couple weeks, on January 15th, Bitcoin or wallet will be temporarily released. March 1st, 2018, they're shifting from proof of work to proof of capacity. So up until March 1st, it looks like this will be a proof of work coin and then they're going to switch over to the proof of capacity. And later on down the road in 2018, on September 8th, zero knowledge proofs added and December 8th, 2018, almost a year from now, dynamic checkpoint protection removed. Bitcoin Ore will have a total supply of 21 million. Block size of 8 megs, 5 minute block generation rate, difficulty adjustment every 2 weeks, and 2 way replay attack protection. Here's their team, and it looks like they are on one exchange. So there is the Bitcoin or project. And this is the first time we've seen a coin fork go to the proof of capacity. So next up on the list, I have Bitcoin All. Didn't find much information on this at all. The only thing I could find is the name, when the approximate fork date was, which is January 1st, 2018, and the symbol, BTA. But that is about all I found on Bitcoin All. So we're going to jump right over that one and head on into Bitcoin Pizza. This one is actually happening sooner than Bitcoin Ore. It's just they have a later approximate date on their website. That's why it's further down the list here because this is just by approximate dates. So Bitcoin Pizza is happening at 501,888. So this is like just about a little under 150 blocks away. 
So Bitcoin Pizza is going to a DAG file technology. And they're doing the fork, but you're going to have to take that forked coin and then exchange it for one of their, their DAG coins once the DAG blockchain is up. So here's their plan. The fork will be executed at 501,888. And for every one BTC, you will get one BPA or Bitcoin Pizza. Meanwhile, they will be developing a fully pre-mined DAG BPA blockchain. When the DAG BPA is mature, the, the users could exchange BPA to DAG BPA with a ratio of one to a billion. So they're forking Bitcoin and you're getting one to one BPA for every BTC but then you're gonna exchange that BPA you get from the Bitcoin fork for a DAG BPA so you're gonna exchange it for a BPA that's on the DAG blockchain they created at a ratio of one to a billion that's craziness and then they say we will persuade exchanges to update BPA BTC to DAG BPA BP BTC so here's their team. It looks like they have a big team. And that is Bitcoin Pizza. So like I said, this is the first one to fork on the list. This is happening at 501,888, just under 150 blocks away. Now everything else here is in later January. And first up on the list we have Bitcoin Interest. Bitcoin Interest will be happening at block 505,000. And 83 which is approximately January 22nd and they're going to a proof of stake out with the ticker symbol BCI let's take a look at Bitcoin interest site so this is a Bitcoin where you can earn interest on it from staking it users can now earn interest payments in a de decentralized manner by parking their Bitcoin interest coins for a set period of time. Every Bitcoin interest block has two rewards. The more significant reward goes to the miners for their participation in solving the block. And the other reward is sent to an interest pool to facilitate interest payments for those who participate in parking their BCI coins. This is achieved through what we call enhanced proof of work using the Equihash algorithm. The interest pool reward will start at 1.08 BCI and, and will decrease to 0.54 BCI as our block heights increase. This setup will ensure that interest payments are always available for those who ch that choose to participate in parking their BCI coins. So this isn't a proof of stake coin like I thought. It is actually an enhanced proof of work, but it has a proof of stake feature pretty much. You can stake your coins and get paid interest on those coins that you park. It is part of the block reward. And here they go on to talk about their interest rates. The best part of Bitcoin interest is that there is no set interest rate. The interest rate depends on two things. How many BCI coins you park and how many other BCI coins are parked in the active interest round. And then two interest cycles with, with Bitcoin interest, you can choose either a weekly or monthly interest period to park your coins and claim your share of the collective interest pool. When you decide to park your BCI coins, you agree to not move your coins until the current round has ended. If you choose to move your BCI coins before the round has ended, you will not receive an interest payment, which is why it is in your best interest to lock in your coins for the duration of the round. The weekly interest round uses 30% of the interest pool balance for payouts, while the monthly interest round uses the remaining 70% of the pool balance for payouts. It looks like they do have hit BTC on board and are negotiating with Bitrix and Bitfinex. And here is their team. So that is Bitcoin interest. This looks like an interesting project here with their proof of work and staking feature where you can earn interest on staked coins. What are they calling it? Enhanced proof of work. So this will be on Equihash. So it will be GPU mineable. And also 
you can earn interest on these coins from staking. So this is definitely a project I'm interested in. It'll be exciting to see how it turns out. Then after interest, or actually before, happening 83 blocks before, the Bitcoin Segwit 2x retry, even though there was just that fork called Segwit 2x, it wasn't the same team and they switched algorithms and stuff. But this is what I read somewhere. I don't have much information on it. I don't know if it's still in the works or not. But I had heard a Bitcoin Segwit 2x retry was going to happen at 505,000. So moving on from that, these are still to be determined fork blocks. So these are further down the line. So these teams have not released their fork blocks yet. First up is Bitcoin Private, which is the Z Classic team, I believe, going over to Bitcoin Private. And it's a fork that's going to happen where you can either hold Z Classics or Bitcoin to get Bitcoin Private. So for every one Z Classic you hold, you will get one Bitcoin Private. For every one Bitcoin you hold, you will get one Bitcoin Private. This is an interesting project. The best way to take advantage of this is to hold Z Classic because it's so much cheaper than Bitcoin. I think one Bitcoin right now can get you somewhere around 130, 140 Z Classics. So this is definitely a project, Bitcoin Private, where you'd want to hold, well, hold whatever you want, but you'd get a lot more of the forked coin if you hold Z Classic over Bitcoin. And the last one on the list here is Bitcoin Atom. There's not much info out on this yet. Evolved Bitcoin with Atomic Swaps and Lightning Network. So this is a Bitcoin that's going to use Atomic Swaps and Lightning Network. Hybrid Consensus Lightning Network Swaps. Atomic Swap Powered. Right now in the roadmap they are working on Lightning Network implementation allowing for instant off-chain atomic swaps and it looks like they do have some exchanges and wallets on board there you go guys the upcoming bitcoin fork spreadsheet has now been updated with as much information as i could find on these upcoming hard forks if you do know any additional information on any of these forks please leave it in the comments below so everyone can be updated. The link to this spreadsheet will be in the description. Anyways, that's going to do it for me for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.